world, I'm Maya Sendermeyer, and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my vlog series. So far, I have been able to share my own experiences on what it's like for me to live with Asperger's Syndrome. A second thing that I will do is give my two cents on what's going on with autism in the media. A third area entails providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum. I will also reach out to your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers, and anybody that is inside the uh, community. And uh, finally, I will cover topics on things that I'm passionate about. But before I dive into this afternoon's topic, I have a few things to mention. Number one, please be sure to check out my written blogs on WordPress.com. Now, these are scholarly and practical application type blogs. And I am currently writing a blog on the history of autism and the studies of neurodiversity because I have a different view about the autistic puzzle piece that I would like to write about. And then I would also like you guys to check out this fun video by uh, Michelle, uh, or not Michelle, but Danielle Feinberg. And she is the director of the uh, photography department at Disney and Pixar. And she talks about the science and the uh, math and the art behind Disney and Pixar movies like uh, Finding Nemo and WALL-E. And uh, the reason why I brought it up is because uh, it's to my knowledge that Disney and Pixar... Uh, offers a career path for people on the spectrum and it's also to my knowledge that they aren't allowed to talk about somebody's autism there rather they're focusing on somebody's strengths and how they can build on those strengths and possibly how they can find weaknesses that they can turn into strengths so I just wanted to put that out there for those of you on the spectrum that are looking into animation career wise uh, there's Disney and Pixar anyway what I would like to do is share my experiences of living on the autism spectrum, or the, I like to say autism spectrum, or living with Asperger syndrome. And I would like to talk about uh, how I handle things. And so, basically, I uh, do not do very well when routines uh, get interrupted or when they change. And uh, a lot of times, um, I'll have a meltdown, or I'll just get really mad, or I'll end up really sad. And... I especially have a hard time when a close friend of mine gets into a relationship with a significant other. And that means that uh, they have a new schedule and they're spending more time with this person than they are with me. And it's not just with me. They're sp spending less time with my friends and I whenever we have a group of things. And this happened recently with a close friend of mine. Is that, First of all, he had moved away to another part of uh, Atlanta and he lives now on the arts outskirts of an area that is not very uh, transportation accessible. And then it would also cost me an arm and a leg to uh, take a uh, Lyft and Uber to uh, get up there. And then um, he had also been meeting a lot of new people. And recently I found out that he had met some people at his new church and he had been dating a few of them. And uh, most recently, it turns out that it's been working out for him to date this one woman. And the last several times that I've invited him to things, he's texted me and said, I have a date. Or he also just doesn't have time. He's busy doing, saying that, well, uh, my family is going to be in town. Or I have this going on. So he doesn't have time for that. And we were supposed to get together uh, today to go up to his house and we were talking about uh, getting a group of us together to go swimming in the pool but I didn't know whether or not it had worked out with him and this girl so uh, I asked if a friend and I could crash at his house uh, last night uh, so that uh, we could just spend the whole day together because it's just such a long way and he had suggested uh, that we were welcome to crash over there before Unfortunately, he said no again because he had a date with the same person that uh, he had the last time I invited him to get together over Memorial Day weekend. And uh, I am having a hard time processing the information and it's just basically uh, I'm, I'm mad and sad about it because uh, he just doesn't have the time anymore like he used to. And uh, I uh, want to say that... Uh, I feel like I've been dropped and I just, uh, again, I don't know how to process the information and uh, this is causing me to have a meltdown and I'm having a meltdown by crying about it. And uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the, the uh, TV show The Big Bang Theory. Well, there's an episode with uh, Dr. Sheldon Cooper 
where uh, he was uh, talking with his roommate about uh, Leonard moving in with Penny because they were in the process of uh, getting engaged and then getting married. And this was uh, way too much for Sheldon to take in at once. So Dr. Cooper ended up uh, flipping out, right? And uh, it was so stressful that he ended up having to uh, take a train across the country for the rest of the summer. So that's basically what it's like for me. I mean, I'm not going to get on a train and go somewhere. But I have had a tendency to flip out whenever a close friend like that gets into a relationship. And I don't think that's something I can help because it's part of me, part of my Asperger's and my autism. But I do know I am trying to practice being happy for him. And I'm not going to ruin my relationship like I've done in the past. Rather, I'm going to let him uh, date this girl and probably settle in with her and uh, also get out there and try to uh, make a new routine for myself by going to a meetup group and getting involved in a club so that I don't feel so left out and I just go and meet people and also uh, get on with my studies and get on with my blogs because that's me. I mean, his priority is to get married. My priority is to finish school use my degrees at uh, the Center for Leadership and Disability and also uh, see my vlogs go viral and see me uh, be a uh, figure and an example and a leader to the autism communities. So anyway, uh, if you like what I'm doing, please be sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Uh, until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and uh, I'll see you later. Bye.